Hey everyone, Irix Guy here, back again with another video. Uh, now you may have watched my review video previously. If you didn't, check it out uh, where I reviewed this uh, this alligator patterned leather watch strap. But what I'm going to do now is actually install. I'm going to take off. The first step will be removing the bracelet. In this case, stainless steel bracelet bracelet from a uh, uh, from a JJ Lacoot. Uh, master control series timepiece. So, yeah, take that off first. So we're gonna we're gonna break this up into two videos. This video, I'm gonna demonstrate removing the uh, the stainless steel bracelet that you see here from the JJ Lacoot, and then I'll post a second video where we put this uh, where we put this leather strap on. So the reason I'm changing this, I bought the JJ Lacoot with a uh, with a stainless bracelet because I like stainless and, and one thing with, with stainless is that when you get that it's it's something that if you don't get it when you initially purchase a timepiece aftermarket stainless is not up to par with aftermarket leather straps. A leather strap is pretty much a leather strap. Sure if you get a uh, if you get a JJ Lacoot with a leather strap it's going to come with a JJ Lacoot uh, deployment buckle but who cares. I, I personally like a uh, on a leather strap, I like just a standard buckle instead of deployment anyway. Makes it look less bulky on the wrist, on the wrist rather. So uh, we're going to take this off now. Uh, something that everyone should be familiar with, and and you'll be able to see this when I actually do it. But there's these little, uh, they're called spring bars in there, and you got to push on those to pull the uh, to pull the strap out. Now, when you're dealing with a nice watch, you don't want to risk scratching it up in any way when you're doing the procedure. So what I like to do, this is just a microfiber cloth right here. I just like to put it in there and um, and kind of position it over the case back, which this is an exhibition case back. Uh, definitely not something I would want to uh, would want to scratch up the sapphire crystal on. And then I'm going to remove my spring bar tool. Now this is just a what I feel is is a very high quality spring bar tool for a budget price. Got it from Panatime.com. I'm gonna take it out of this pr protective uh, rubber rubberized sleeve here. Okay, so I got it out. Now what you're gonna want to do is look at the end of your spring bar tool, and it's a little fork end right here. You can see the uh, fork, and that's what's gonna be used to remove the spring bar. The other side is a pin pusher. So I'm taking the forked end. And like I said, very carefully, because you don't want to go with this quickly. You just want to, uh, you, you'll be able to see on your, on your spring bars a little ridge. And you want to gently get this in there without scratching the, uh, the lugs on your, uh, on your timepiece. And just kind of pull gently. And again, I'm making contact with the spring bar, intentionally not making contact with the timepiece. And these JJ Lacoot bracelets are some of the easiest ones to work on. It it just falls. You can see now I've got this end detached, and it just comes right out. And uh, and now I'm going to do the other end. Uh, excuse me, Sean Coonery. You are not a horologist. No, you're not. No horologist for you. No. Okay, so so I've got that end. Uh, one thing I would recommend, depending upon the timepiece, a lot of these brands, especially uh, JJ Lacoot, when you buy a JJ Lacoot, all the pieces are specific for that particular timepiece. So I don't know if the spring bars are or not, or if it's just a generic spring bar, but I'm going to leave this 20 millimeter spring bar in this stainless bracelet when I store it. And I'm going to use a. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa.
and I'm going to use a a couple of aftermarket 20 millimeter spring bars. You can pick these up most anywhere. I got these from Panatime.com. Going to use them when I install the leather strap, just so I keep. Ugh, no, Sean Coonery, I'm going to have to put you out. Sorry. Okay, so now we can proceed with this procedure. Had a slight interruption with a YouTube celebrity. Check out his videos, by the way, on my channel. Uh, Sean Coonery, the, uh, the big Maine Coon cat. So now I'm going to do the other end of this timepiece. Same procedure I did before. And I hope you can see this in this video. I'm looking up at the camera here, and obviously that's my timepiece is covered up with the microfiber cloth but again and this this is pretty much the same procedure for every uh, for most every watch so you just kinda gently grab that spring bar with your with your spring bar tool and in the JJ LeCoute case it just kinda drops down when you do one side and then I repeat and actually I'm gonna rotate this right here and do the other side. Again, just a very gentle process. Uh, so now I've detached the uh, the JJ LeCoute stainless bracelet from the timepiece. And then right here, all I've got is the timepiece. So you can see there, that's the uh, this is the 40, <coughs> excuse me, 40 millimeter master control. 